Yo, what up everybody, Ooms here, and yeah, welcome back to some more Neo walkthrough. Real walkthrough, not a playthrough, but my skill build. And uh, anyways, yeah, Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas of 2019. I don't know how else to start off this, start off this video, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, hope you all have a great holiday. I uh, hope you yes. Hope y'all get what you want, um, or get to spend Christmas with the person you want. Uh, anyways, yeah. And without further ado, let's jump into the boss for today, the Great Centipede. So, I'm gonna start off the fight with the on the bottom right here, and I'm gonna just use my spirit animal and try to destroy as many of these stone parts as possible. If you're lucky, you can break them all. I don't know if there's like a guaranteed way of breaking them because I'm like it's like 50 50 percent chance I can break them all. If you can break them all, you can take the fight down here. But if you break the boss's stamina, uh, it'll end up running away and it'll regain all of those rocks, the poison rock things. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> even if you destroy them all and stamina breaks, then you know it's gonna get them back. So just that's just a heads up. But if you don't break any, well, if you don't break any, it's gonna be a, a kind of a drag to fight them. So make sure you like at least break them off, and then you can just fight them here. You don't have to fight them at the bottom. Because once you break them off, they'll just be in the bottom. Like the poison effect will just take, uh, take place on the bottom. It'll it'll never reach up here. So if you take the fight up here, then you know, uh, it's just pretty basic and simple. You hit him a few times, and he turns around. You block that shit, and then he either does a melee attack like that, or he does uh, uh, I guess effect. It's it can either be poison, paralyze, or he throws a rock at you. So, like yeah, dodge the same. We just dodge into him, and then when he turns around, block it, and then wait for him to do an attack. Dodge into him, break lock on, whack him, rinse and repeat. And this is pretty much it. Uh, this is how the fight is. So it's pretty gimmicky. It, I, I don't know. I guess I would say he looks tougher than he is, but he does not even look tough at all to me. So, yeah, this is probably one of the easiest boss you can fight in the game. Uh, pretty much just block, dodge, and that's it. I mean, come to think of it, you know, I can't, that can apply to all bosses, but this one, like, it doesn't have any combos. It has three projectile attacks and one melee attack. I guess two if you want to count this little pinchy pinch thing when he's walking towards you. And he actually got, he actually nailed it. Uh, nailed a freaking physical attack on me. Probably got mad at me for calling him easy. Alright, man. Okay, maybe you're not so easy. Maybe you're a little bit challenging. I don't know. Alright, dodge him. Just try to whack him. Um, yeah, at the end of this video, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna level up off camera, but I'll show you guys my my end stats so you guys know what I leveled up because the leveling up process is just like it's very short and I didn't want to just leave that in there and then like do a weird cut to it so yeah uh, I'll show you guys the ends like my overall stats at the end like after all the leveling up and stuff uh, I won't do any like armor for forging off camera if I'm gonna do it all right and yeah well, I won't do. I'm not doing it like these videos, anyways. So I'm just trying to keep it like um, my armor and weapon, like the stuff I pick up, unless I am getting my ass kicked a lot, which <laughs> I don't know how that'll happen. But yeah, but if I feel like I'm not dishing out enough damage, then I will up uh, or try to forge uh, a weapon and you know try to get the better better rarity I guess because uh lower rarity means like less stat buff 
So here is uh, the poison vent. I don't know why you would want to use this. I've seen people do their fights on this little part here. But for me, I just think it's easier if you break the, um, the parts off the centipede and then just fight them here instead of going over there in the little twisty turn place. I don't know. I guess it's like personal preference. And... Yeah. I'm running around here because I keep thinking there's stuff to pick up, but those are just like these crystal things. You know, up far they look like pickups, but they're not. So, yeah, anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully, this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And if you all found at least one of those qualities in this video, then hey, stay tuned for the next one. But until next time, uh, I'll catch y'all later. And yeah, once again, Merry Christmas, everybody. Holmes out.